All right, my loves, I have no idea what's gonna come out of my mouth, but I know it's going to be good because I just had one of the most potent breakthrough experiences of my life. And it wasn't breakthrough of like shattering from pain or anything like that. It was, I have been through such a powerful transformational journey in the last um, about month. I've had what um, some might say like a twin flame experience. So I've met a person who's mirrored me and matched me and like gone in, helped me dissolve core wounds as we've been like just doing this really incredible, sometimes painful, beautiful dance. I, uh, and every time I check in with myself and my guides, it's like, what can I do for myself to move through this? Because there's so much intensity in it. And every single time I'd say for the last couple of days, I just keep getting focus on your heart, focus on your heart, focus on your heart, focus on the illumination of your heart, focus on the illumination of your heart. Okay. I can do that. I can do that, right? I can do that. <laughs> um, and so the really interesting thing for me is that part of what was released and part of what came through in this dynamic was something that was so powerful, so powerful. I have had my heart broken so many times in this life. I live open heartedly and I just run and jump and like, oh my gosh, I just love to fall in love. Don't we all? <laughs> uh, so, haha. So with that, I have also carried a lot of wounds, a lot of wounds that have made me like trepidatious and scared of moving forward and opening my heart. And it's like, at this point, it's not even that I'm choosing to open my heart because somebody is standing in front of me. It's that I'm choosing to open my heart because I want to experience what my heart feels like open and clear of these patterns and clear of this like pain. And so as I'm feeling that and like, it's almost like you're sprinting or you're on a bike and you're going downhill and things are picking up and it's going really fast and then you just like start pedaling and you go even faster. <sighs> my goodness. I have never felt my heart so open in this way. I have never felt like my entire body, all of my chakra systems, all of my electrons are like moving and flowing with this. I have been connecting with dragon energy lately, which is just a powerful reminder. This island is so full of dragon energy. It's so Oh, it's so beautiful and so lovely and at the same time the level of embodiment too that I am also feeling that it isn't this like ecstatic like take me out of my body bring me into another worldly sort of bliss like this intergalactic interdimensional healing that we do in some of our you know transmissions and channels and all of these things but this feels different it feels so powerful it feels so potent it feels so beautiful it feels so real and it feels like me. That's the thing is that it feels like me. It's this illumination that's coming out of the center of the core of my heart, the center of the core of me. It is my energy. And when I say me and my, it's not the egoic me. It is the essence, my pure essence that is just radiating through my entire heart body right now, right now. This literally just happened about 10 minutes ago and I was texting a friend and I was like, oh my God, it feels, so, oh my God. And, 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 and she's like video diary it. And so I'm like, oh, I'll go live. <laughs> I want to share this. I want to be able to hopefully just have the resonance that you feel here, beam and peel away some layers where you're like, oh yeah, I can let that go. Oh yeah, I can forgive that. Oh yeah, I can let that go. Why am I holding on to that wound? Let's go. Girl, let go of that pain. You deserve it. <laughs> let your heart breathe. You know, it's like so we walk around like wearing like heart spanks. We just keep our heart like tightly wound in these tightly little things. And we're like, it must be kept in contempt. And then all of a sudden one day somebody or something happens and you go, why am I doing that? I didn't know that I was doing it, but I knew that I was doing it. But why am I doing that? Because I've never, never known my life without pain. Have, have any of us? Have any of us? So the more that I am continuing to encourage myself to lean into the pain, I'm also juice fasting, juice cleansing. So that's part of this like high that you're experiencing here. It's like the more that I allow that to flow through me, the, like the purification of the emotions, the purification of the toxicity, the purification of the programming, the purification of what it means to be an American, the purification of so many things. And of course there's always more, but right now it just feels like this landslide 
moving through me that is purifying and pulling out so much debris and so much shenanigans and so much like past experiences, past programming. The body is upgrading on a cellular level. I undoubtedly believe that we are bringing our physical bodies with us into the new earth. Our physical bodies are learning how to ascend into 5D. That is significant. The fifth dimension is where I usually as a medium connect with people that loved ones that have passed angels, uh, star families, those sometimes go above the fifth dimension, right? So then we're talking like seventh and ninth and twelfth, like on. Um, but when we talk about 5D and you've probably heard a little bit about the new earth, when we talk about 5D and we talk about the new earth, there's something moving here. And when I first started learning about this, this was like six or seven years ago, I started thinking that okay, it would be like a separation, but it would be an energetic separation. And as I've been here on Bali and as I've been continuing to do my work and as I've been opening my channels and da 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 da, this is how the information is coming through me. It's that I physically am feeling my body up leveling into 5D and I'm listening to my intuition and I'm listening to my body around what my body is telling me it needs in order to be able to hold and stabilize the frequency of the new earth because there are a lot of us that are way showers and there are a lot of us that are on the leading edge and there are a lot of us that are here to teach and guide and show others how we are doing this. And I do believe that I'm here on Bali during this time to like accept that as my birthright. I've known that I'm meant to be a teacher, but I haven't really accepted my role. And so these parts, these experiences, these heart opening, like my heart feels stable in this radiance. It feels impenetrable. It feels fully protected. It feels it's emanating. So it's anything that is not of a frequency that is of pure divine love can't even touch it. The reason I was getting hurt was because I was allowing pain to be held in my heart, which was the, ma which was the magnet. It was like, oh, there's so much pain in my heart. Okay, law of attraction, like attracts like. It's gonna magnify and like pull in more pain. So, boom, shaka laka, we let go of the pain. <laughs> there might be some residual with that, but let me tell you, just try the poop, okay? My clients know this, it's a poop. Let the pain be gone. What would your heart feel like without any pain? It's like a naughty thought. What would your heart feel like without the pain? <sighs> yes. We love this, right? We love this. Let yourself feel into that because now I'm starting to see energy move in the container. Now I'm starting to see energy move in the container. I'm doing this live. Nobody's here because I'm doing it in the middle of the night for Americans. <laughs> But feel this moving. I know that you can feel it because this container has no time and it has no space. So if you're here watching this at whatever time you're watching it, whenever you're watching it, five years from now or tomorrow, it doesn't matter. It's like you're feeling that release because this container exists in no space and no time because it is in the fifth dimension. Yes, I'm here in the third dimension, but this healing that we're experiencing in the energy body, in your energy body, in my energy body, is in that higher dimensional frequency of conscious understanding and awareness. There you go, just keep breathing, keep feeling it, keep feeling it. Okay, we're gonna bring in some light codes. Just really turn the faucet up a little bit, okay? <laughs> Yosatakiwa Hua po to kua ya satsimi sitiki ya hua kaya puku to kia wa akua yo ya haya 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 sota ni ya wa kua puku a sota kia wa hiya sata ku puku ta kia wa oa sota kia wa hakate ya wa o hakate ya yo ya hua hua pua ku sutu ku 
yatani wa uapo akaya haakua ya wa ya hua satani iki ya wa putuku haakua ta yatani ya wa awa pua kaya tani ya wa akua haawa kua putu ni ya wa tu ukua hua kutu ni ya wa ya wa pukua haakatini iki ya wa pukupukia Breathe, big deep breath, focus on your root chakra, flowing all the way down to the center of Mama Gaia. Let, let, let Mama Gaia hold you, let her nurture you, let her be still with you, let her pull you in, let her love you, let her acknowledge you as you acknowledge her as your divine mother on this beautiful, loving planet that we coexist in. How beautiful is it that we are here right now? Oh, you are such a treasure. You are so precious. Your light is needed, my sweet friend. You, mm, 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 mm. I wish you a moment to be able to see yourself as your creator sees you. You are pure divine form birthed out of the very center of creation of nothing. Yawa puku te yawa haakai putu pukua. Iti ni yawa puku apu teke. Yawa putu kutike yawa ua kaya. Yate ni yawa ua haaka yawa kateke. To wapuka atani yawa puku ati. Go ahead and take a moment to connect with the angel of forgiveness if that feels right and good to you right now. That angel of forgiveness is going to be here to illuminate your heart and to convert and to forgive any patterns of past pain or suffering associated with you and other people, other engagements. Go ahead and take a moment to just take a nice big deep breath. Allow that angel of forgiveness to come through and wipe the slate clean. May all karmic debts and ties be forgiven. You can recognize your humanness and you can recognize your beingness. And when you allow yourself to embody your beingness, you recognize that any, 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 any human experiences of grudges or this and that or he said, she said can be resolved in an instant when you connect into your eternal, immortal self within. This aspect of you has a full connection to infinite wisdom, to all that is. This aspect of you knows exactly how to set yourself free and this aspect of you lives inside of your heart. Sometimes I feel really weird doing it, but we're just going with it, okay? Specific healing for the throat here, the thyroid, and the lymphatic system.
Lauren is the star food fam. I trust you. I love you. I adore you. I see you. I am journeying with you. You are a treasure to this world no matter where you are, no matter what feelings you have, no matter what patterns and behaviors you are enacting. You are an absolute treasure. You are a gift and it is my personal mission to remind you of So of course, if you'd like to dive deeper, of course I have a society where we hold group programs, where we can communicate and chat with each other, other starseed loving fam that is on this journey with us. Trust me, if you are in the middle of nowhere and you don't have anyone to talk to about your spiritual awakening, this is one of the best things that I can suggest is to find your star tribe, even if it is virtual. It will help give you a lifeline to better understand what is happening in your world. The whole, the whole thing about spiritual awakening is that it is, it, it is non-discriminatory. People are waking up of every single age, gender, shape, size, color, personality, type, all over. Location doesn't matter. How much money you have in the bank, it does not matter. If you are a human being and it is part of your journey to be a star seed light bearer on this planet, you are going to feel your awakening soon if you have not already. So our community ranges from beginners with Moon Club to the advanced with the Monad Society group programs. I have all sorts of recorded classes that you can find at monadsociety.com. And I just want you to know that I absolutely love you, adore you so much. I hope you got so much out of this video. Please do share it. Please do. Do what you can to help me spread the word because I am here rooting you on and your support is absolutely welcomed with a big fat giant open heart and received so graciously. Mm, my love, I hope to see you soon. So as we go forth, may we integrate the healing and the lessons received with courage, self-love and compassion. Our connection here is very much complete. If you're interested in going further, find me, you know how to find me social media. You know what you're doing here. <laughs> All right. I love you.